hello everyone welcome once again and i have come back with another video so this is a continuation of the previous video on lex so i have uh, i have built a conversational uh, pc chatbot using lex and with this video i'm going to integrate that chatbot that bot with amazon connect so connect is a cloud contact center that uh, uh, that Amazon provides uh, with uh, numerous other added features uh, that you can specifically take a look from uh, the documentation over here so here I'm going to show you how this implementation can be done uh, this connects plus Lex in order to have uh, in, an interactive chatbot hosted on your web application place I will create a quickly uh, an Amazon connect instance for you so remind you that the region that you're going to select is the same where your Lex is uh, residing. So my uh, Lex bot that I created is on Oregon region. So create a connect contact center over connect instance basically. So you give an alias over here. So some meaningful name and there are three options how you want to do the identity management. For sake of simplicity and demonstration purpose, I'll just keep stores user in Amazon Connect and um, click on next. So no administrator. So if you want to allow incoming calls or outgoing calls, that's fine. However, it's not a telephony uh, implementation that I'm going to do. It's, it's simply chat based. Uh, let's click on next. And it's talking about data storage that's fine so let's click on next and create instance so as you can see the connect instance is created I will just go to this instance alias so on the left side I will show you like you can see uh, this is uh, what your contact center is uh, basically a connect instance and along with that um, n number of features are available so there is provisioning of creating cases uh, pro uh, procuring of uh, phone numbers, telephony services, chat based uh, mechanisms to support um, uh, end users or your customers. So here what I'm going to do is log in for emergency. I will just click that this one. However, uh, for day to day use, this is not a suggestive way. So you can definitely do with the help of accessing this link and by creating uh, certain users and, meant, and also by creating an administrator. I'll just click on this login for emergencies and and here I am so this is uh, the connect home page on, on the left side you will find multiple uh, options that are available like user management uh, case management uh, user profile procuring of a phone number for any voice assistant like telephony service that you want to uh, implement so the first things first what I'm going to do is uh, creating a flow so what I will do is create a new flow from the scratch and in this flow it's going to be so how it happens is like there are multiple blocks each blocks have been providing each functionality okay so let's say an interacting block so whenever a user uh, interacts with a uh, with a chat bot or with an audio uh, voice assistant bot what happens it gets a prompt so so this is what my prompt is going to be so this simply plays a prompt or in, in the form of a voice or in the form of a chat so what I will do edit settings and I'll click text to speech and a block name I will give which is welcome welcome to uh, my bookings is something Please let me know how we can help you. So this is something what we are going to ask the user. So it can be interpreted as an SSML. So this is something where if you want to, uh, um, uh, in, in case you want uh, some decorations in the voice, so this is what you have what I have provided in the chat text you can either interpret as a text or an SSML so, so I will save this 
Now once this is done, we are going to take a user input. So we want to get user input block over here. So this is what a customer intent is. We, we, we are going to integrate Lex on behind of this. So let's say success. So, and even for error of this block. So we can specify whether if it's a success for a specific block, we will go ahead with this flow. And if it's a failure, we can, can specify that it should go with a different flow, okay. And uh, once this set this setting is done, I will use another prompt. This prompt is for a timeout specific or default specific. You can you can add or even if it's an error, you can add it. This is in case when the user is not providing and uh, providing any input. However, that handling we have already done in our backend uh, Lex bot. So we will just ignore, uh, for now, we'll just uh, ignore this play prompt from here and let's search for disconnect. So this ends the, dis uh, uh, ends the specific flow. So if it's a timeout or a default or an error, like just for simplicity, give it like this, okay? And uh, in the edits edit setting section we will we need to add the amazon lex bot over here okay but before doing that let's go to uh this instance page and here in the flows we need to add our lex bot travel bot so from the drop down you will find amazon lex option over here so in case you want to integrate a lambda function as well this is how you are going to add it over here and in case you want to see how the flow logs go through, we need to keep it this flow logs checkbox enabled. Okay, so the alias for the specific bot is test bot. And just click on add flex bot. So this is now added. And here while creating the flow, I will get in the edit section. I need to select now it's DTMF, which is dual tone multi frequency, and uh, now we, we are going to select. So in this in this case, you get two options. One is a DTMF, another is Amazon Lex. So I am going with Amazon Lex, and now I am able to see this is my travel bot, this is my bot Elias, and so customer prompt you can give. Uh, initialize with bot use initial customer utterances so this is where the you a customer utterance if you could recall well, for the book flight it was something i want to booking a flight etc all those okay and if i scroll down i'll just click on save now this is done uh, it's a basic flow now in case you want to enable logs and debugging for debugging purpose you just search for set login behavior okay and you click on this enable and this is how you enable login in case you want to change the voice as well if that's for telephony purpose so you can set a voice uh, but that's not uh, part of our use case now let's try to give a name over here My booking flight flow and once that is done I can publish it so by publishing it goes directly live ideally it's it should be a save and then followed by a publish but just for showing you how it works just click on publish now you travel to the home page over here I'm creating a new session over here now uh, I will click on test chat let's see how it works and in the test chat testing section, I will just try to find my booking flight flow and I will click on apply. Once this is done, okay, there's some kind of error that's taking place right now. Uh, 
that it's failing over here the chat is abruptly getting ended so with multiple uh, you know permutation and combinations I tried out in the middle I created an alias named book so it's kind of those who are uh, uh, familiar with lambda versionings and alias it's quite similar to that then I also published a bot version which is version 1 it's very simple like uh, from the drop versions uh, or the, you, you can create a specific version from here only so draft is where you uh, you create you do the testing how you you are trying to develop your bot and then you associate this specific allies with your bot even I try to add it and then I realized uh, that in the flow what I was doing is if I edit the settings I was selecting this option initialize bot with the message but uh, this is somehow doesn't work I need to learn more about it like how it can be utilized in this case but let's select this option which is text to speech that gives the user prompt so we can we can give something like this please let us know or please let me know how I can help you today cool this is something we need to add and over here let's try to edit the prompt just remove this part let's save it once it's done let's save and let's go ahead with the publishing okay the publish is done it's published now now we'll go to the test connect okay this is where the test instance is so now it says that welcome to my bookings and then the bot is replying please let me know how I can help you with it. and here you can say that flight so it understands and then we repeat the same name say Raj first name and travel dates is 11 12 2024 some future dates and travel source is say Vienna and your destination travel is say Rome and even it's not yes you can give a yeah and it said that the flight request on this this for passenger name Raj from Vienna to Rome has been booked an agent will reach out so this specific block if you want to have it developed on your website how you're going to do okay so that's what I will be showing so